Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing a modern cube draft. I'd like for you to go check out CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday. I have a new article. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. I would also like you to check out Manitraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check that out. Um, that's a, Both of those are great ways to support the channel. And uh, you can also go to, just go to Patreon.com slash Frank Laporte for one, one or two dollars a month. Great way to support the channel. And uh, me and Rob did our set review earlier today, so be sure to check that out. Part one is already up on YouTube, and part two will be going up tomorrow on YouTube. So those were super fun. It was great to spend some time with old Rob Arino again. And uh, here we are. Here we are. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, and honestly, I'm surprised we're allowed to have an in office. I think for. Stuff like that. Like I had a, uh, I had a vet appointment, and they were fine with that. Like I was the only person in there, and like, I think they're just being really careful. I like Brazen Bar. I like Zealous Conscripts. I think Zealous Conscripts is stronger, but it's also not the Vintage Cube, so there's no Splinter Twin. There's only Kiki McJeekums. So, does that make it better? Does that make it worse? Does it make it the same? Would you like your life to be better or worse or stay the same? I'm going to take Zealous Conscripts. Oh, I like a Glenelinger Archmage. I also like a Grave Titan. Hmm. Misty Rainforest, not bad. I'm looking at Glen, Grave, and Misty. Yep, the Neurologist being virtual makes total sense. Yeah, a lot of them are doing virtual things grave daddy does seem good so does glenn though you know do i yeah yeah you'd think the primary care would be be virtual and the more important neurologist would be like you need to come in and i'll take a look i'll take a i'll examine your little brain for you i'll do a little brain swab do they do a brain swab where they swab your brain and then they test it to make sure you're you're good you're okay because i just made that up so i hope not I'm going to take Grave Titan. I don't think we've done a black red thing. And here we got a Dread Boar. I, I love this Soren. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers. But we can just take this Dread Boar and stay on color. Um, I think I like Thunder Maw better than Hypnotic. I also don't hate Doomfall, right? Yes, I get brain swabbed. I hope, I hope you're just kidding. And I didn't just accidentally stumble upon a real thing that happens. That's wild. I'm going to take the Thunder Maul. I think it's just a stronger card. Brain too wrinkly. Gotta ask. Why is my brain so wrinkly? Well, you see. It's all those undreamt tunas. If you start dreaming tunas more normally, then you'll see an improvement in your in your brain wrinkles. That's just that's just common sense. Everybody knows that. I want to take Izzet Signet here. I actually just wrote about off color halfway off color signets in my in my cool stuff article underarm tuna <laughs> yeah see that's pretty funny see that's funny i don't think this guy should be in the queue i think one of the perks of this guy is being able to use it with ancestral v ancestral recall but without ancestral recall it's like what are you doing with your life i'm gonna take grave titan Or Phyrexian Arena. I said Grave Titan, I meant Mascarano, I said Grave Titan. Or Phyrexian Arena. Oh, man. I'll take the Arena. Is it time for a name change? I would be surprised. Oh, Blood Crypt? Beautiful. Beautiful. Nothing from this pack is coming back, unfortunately, so we don't get to go for the third or our Mesa or Yogmoth even. But that was a nice blood crypt, so. Oh, Colagon's command came back? Oh, baby. Oh man, we're on the we're on the right right side of history here. Do you have a favorite of the new ultimatums? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I think the Jeskai one is probably my favorite. 
Um, Crux of Fate actually not terrible. Um, yeah, I think the hey, let me look up the ultimatums and make sure I'm. We talked about them in the set review, so definitely check those out, guys. I'd really love for you guys to check out the set review. Let me know what you guys think. We put a lot of work into it, you know? So it's like, give us your love and affection. All right, so we have Eerie Ultimatum, which is return any number of permanent cards of different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's actually pretty good. Emergent Ultimatum, you search library for three monocolor cards, exile them, an opponent chooses. I'm just going to take the removal here. I'm not a big Bedlam Reveler fan. I'll take the Assassin's Trophy. Or Resto. I like Resto better. Oncrop Crasher was a card I was actually considering picking up earlier. Char? All right. Are you as excited as I am for the Fetchable Trilands? I am, actually. They're one of my favorite cycles in the set. Uh, Mike is asleep because Mike has a job. Um... Shuffle that card into your library, and then you pay the you play the other ones without paying their mana cost. The problem with the emergent ultimatum is that they they have to be mono colored, so you can't get Ugin, uh, you can't get other ultimatums. You know what I mean? So it's like you're very limited as to uh, the specific cards you can get. Um, Genesis ultimatum is pretty sweet. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards onto the battlefield, and the rest in your hand. So you're basically drawing at least five cards with the ability to play some of them. Um, Ruinous Ultimatum is cool because it's destroy all non-land permanents your opponent's control. It's just very strong. But my favorite is probably Inspired Ultimatum because it reminds me most of Cryptic, Cryptic Command... Uh, Crypt, Cruel Ultimatum, which I think was obviously deliberate, uh, where target player gains five life, Inspired Ultimatum deals five damage, and you draw five cards. So I think it's just easily the strongest one. I mean, not easily. I think Genesis Ultimatum is very good too, but... Those two would probably be my my top picks. I I do have a job, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, zombies. We don't have a zombie theme here. I guess Grave Titan's kind of a zombie theme. I, don't, I still think it's just probably languish. There's way too many matches where I just want a sweeper and uh, Scalding Tarn actually gets our Blood Crypt. There's also a Kalidus. Um, I don't see why Inspired Ultimatum wouldn't make it into a... I mean, you just have to have seven... As long as you have seven lands, like, you're good. Uh, I do like Kalidus a lot. I think we're gonna take the Kalidus. Oh, Bloodstained Mire? That's even better than a... Another Javi. Uh, what are we missing here? Gifted either one Thoughtseize? We already have Duress. Mana Confluence might come back, too, so that's pretty cool. I think Phoenix is actually fine. I think it's one of the better Phoenixes. Like, you can pump it. It's very easy to get back. It comes back as a 3-3. Three, three. I'll take a Phoenix. Croxa in our black-red deck? Oh, baby. Not even not even close. I mean, if Incinerator Doomblade comes back, that's pretty cool. I don't think we'd ever cast Phyrexian Obliterator. And I don't think we're a Perforous deck, so those are my... I really like Eldest Reborn. I also like Dragon Skull Summit, though. Noxious Gear Hulk's fine. Um... I'm pretty sure our mana fixing is a little more important than the Eldest Reborn, unfortunately. Oh, wow. That's a great Chandra. Yep, that's not really not really close. I think E2 Extinction is great, but we also have Heroes Downfall and Murderous Rider in the in the set. Wow. All of the lands. All four of the lands. What are we missing here? Like Black Cleave Cliffs, I guess, which I don't really care about. We passed enough our reflecting pool, which I do like. And uh a mana confluence, which might even come back. So, eh, carry Ziv is fine. Not exciting, but I think we just take Pyroclasm. Like we're not a creature deck; we're more of a black red control deck. So, having three sweepers is pretty decent. I mean, if we play Languish, like what are we even killing? Like on Crop Crasher? Like sure. No little monkey. It's true. I 
Uh, Fatal Push seems pretty decent. Hey, Gifted Aetherborn and a Roast. We already have Mizium Orders, though, which is pretty close to Roast. I'll just take the Gifted Aetherborn. Trolf's Messenger. I'll take Disfigure. It's just... Oh, Doomblade came back. Mana Confluence did not. Yeah, take all his dust. Oh, Pyromancer? Actually not terrible here. Like, we have a lot of spells. Let's look at the number of spells we have. Seven so far? Not bad. Steam Vents. Knight of Ebon Legend. Oh, it's Knight of the Ebon Legend. Legion, not Legend. <laughs> a Braid is alright. Finale's fine. I find that Finale is... I mean, like, Finale, if you're going to kill multiple creatures with it, like, we already have Crux, Pyroclasm, and Languish. So... We also have Mizium Orders, too, which is, you know, just fine. I like a Braid because it does deal with artifacts, like Kolagon's Command. Um, do we have anything else that deals with artifacts? Yeah, I do like the Abraid because of swords. There are an abundance of abundance. I lose to an abundance of swords. So I think I'm just going to take the Abraid and try to prevent that from happening. Gonti seems fantastic here. Although there's a Cryptic Command and a Teferi in this pack that break my heart. I think Gonti is a solid dude. We did miss the Shieldbreaker, but that guy's, that guy's basically poop. I like Glorybringer. Glorybringer being able to kill the Questing Beast is just, just beautiful. And it, and it gives us another threat. We only have 11 creatures so far. I like Woebringer. I like Woe Strider too, but it hasn't been that impressive for me. I do like Legion War Boss. I do like Murderous Redcap, actually. In the fetch marsh flats to zero life that Mutual is doing the Ashiok from the charade stip. Watch it and you'll see what I mean. Scary. What does that mean? Murderous red camp? Man, we could have little monkey and little go. Yeah, now we can just get little go buffs though, so that's okay, right? Legion War Bus seems fine, but I think Murderous Red Cap's probably just better. Now nah, I'm gonna take Legion War Bus. The thing is, like, if we if we find I'd like to get a um I didn't even know this guy was in the cube. That's pretty sweet, actually. I'd like to get a ravenous chupacabra. That's a good dude. Is it Thunderbreak Regent or is it Rakdos Regent? I think it's Thunderbreak Regent. Oh, Olivia Voldaren is nice. So is Treasure Map, though. What are we cutting here? Probably on Crop Crasher. I don't think we're that aggressive. Everything else really fits the bill for our, like... Yeah, I do think it's actually Treasure Map. Oh, Storm's Wrath. Young oh, Season Pyromancer is nice. Storm's Wrath is great, but we also have Languish and Crux of Fate and Pyroclasm. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the Pyromancer. Inverter of Truth is interesting. Flame Slash, Read the Bones, Hero Box Ridge. Like, I feel like we're definitely in the right colors. Hmm. I think it's just Hero of Oxidridge, right? It's not Inverter. It's not Hangerback. I don't care about these. I think it's just Hero. And now we have lots of cuts to make. Oh, the knight came back. Which I think is just very good. Eh, fight with fire is fine. I like it better than Bomac Courier.
Well, we got four cards to cut, so we're going to definitely evaluate things. I know I just cut the Signet, but I do like going from two to four, since we have a lot of four drop. I cut Drew's hair today for the first time. Oh, buddy, that was scary. I can imagine. That sounds terrifying. Um, I think Murderous Cut's better than Doomblade. Undrove Tuna, how did it turn out? Hey, the red cap came back. Hey, Arrakis Return came back. Every single card we wanted came back. Olivia Voldaren came back. Jeez. That's ridiculous. All right. So we can just add on crop fight with fire and like this figure and like one of the sweepers. And then we just have the, uh, now we just have a 60 card deck. All right, we're taking out Rakdos Return, taking out Crux of Fate. All of those are good. Take out Hero and Murderous and Olivia. These are fine for now. Oncrop, Char, Fight. Uh, take out the Knight, take out the Disfigure. Yeah, we're definitely not playing. Definitely not playing sixty cards. That seems terrible. Um, let's get all the cards we have. Let's sort by. I guess we can uh, group creatures separately. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards to trigger Young Pyromancer. I don't know if that's good enough. Our mana base is very good. Oh, man. All right, so... How much removal do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish. Uh, one signet's, I mean, like, one signet, why does one signet seem pretty meh? I think both of these are, I think we can cut Treasure Map because we do have Phyrexian Arena. We also have Season Pyromancer to loot. Zimitipod, have a good night, buddy. I'm going to put in all four of these. We're just going to go 41, 6, 10, 10. And then we'll see which one we need more of. Oh, this looks like a red. All right, do it do it excellent Well, that seems fine. Kill the first threat, Legion War Boss into one of these two. getting a black here. <laughs> I was just finding it just found a way to get out of the two artifacts. Unbelievable. Let's go to Swampums. 
Nice. I mean, we're just going to play this guy. We have enough cards in hand that, like, if they have, if you want to counter everything, that's totally fine. It's not fine. It kind of... Oh. Well, that's good. Hmm. Interesting. Light Veil Spectre, eh? That dude's going to get straight up murdered. Well, that's unfortunate. <sighs> hmm. I feel like we're doing a lot of damage here, guys. All right, well, there are three. So, no, they did. Okay. Well, that was good. That, that turned out well. I was literally hoping it could. I'd be like, kill your red cap, get back my Blainswalker, but unfortunately, that is not a thing it can do. I wish. Let's take out Doomblade, because we've seen two creatures that uh, can't get killed by it. We're going to just char. I don't know what the holdup is. Thank you. Not the plague. Thank you so much for the resub. I'm mainly on the tube, but I tune in. I think. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, my dude. Ziffy, but we're going to keep it because we're on the draw and we can play a, a dread bore and we got a couple four drops this is just basically a mono red deck with more black cards all right we're halfway there give me a signet next turn can you imagine a signet just going to play well he's going to play black stars can you imagine a signet next turn can you imagine a signet next turn can Oh, okay. That guy's coming through. It's lit. Bogok. I'm going to counter this. But he is a phoenix. This will come back. I don't even care. 
Oh, dang. Sensor. All right, you got it. I've been drunk, you mutt be Frank. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's true. Uh, I'm going to play Gonti, and if they want to bounce Gonti, you know what? That's just fine. I'll get another free card out of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> now, I, now I want you to bounce it. Just put it back in my hand. Oh, they got a, they got a, they were like, no, you're gonna want to bounce that guy. Okay. That's actually just fine. Yep, here we go. This is the match where they just counter everything. So that's cool. You gotta run out of counters eventually, my dude. Yep, keep it coming. All right, sweet. Having a good time. Having a good time. <sighs> Boy. Have you tried being better? No. Oh, good. That's something, all right. So we can go block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. They're obviously not attacking with master. Oh boy, good stuff. Solid hand. Pyroclasm seems decent against them. Oh, snap. Snap it off. Snap it off. Did they try to censor this? Because that's pretty funny. Uh, I'll just take Jace. 
because your hand's pretty rough without a Jace. I mean, could have actually let him keep the Jace, then Thunder Mile Kite killed it, taking the sensor, but. What are you going to do? Well, we know they have sensor. It's no longer sensor, no mountain, no island. Sure. I think we actually took the only two mana creature out of our deck. I guess we have Kroxa, right? That's pretty good. Sure. <sighs> mm, okay. That's pretty unbelievable. Eight cards, eight lands. Okay, so if we get to just draw Thunder Maw, it's pretty good. I'd rather this guy be on board, but...
Murderous Cut doesn't go great with the Phoenix. Let's hold this dude back. Interesting. Yeah, we can just wait on that. Main phase brazen bar. Well, that's interesting. Yep, spell appears. One, two, three, four. We have four cards left over. This guy needs three. Uh, so we can get. I don't think we have anything to get things back. Uh, Duress Meyer. Okay. Let's take out Dreadbore, Gaunti, and Murderous Cunt. That's, that's pretty bad. I'll take two. Uh, why don't you use Thunderbird? Because I just assume they have a counterspell or multiple. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. Of course, all the cards in our hand are black, or red, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This guy costs five to make two one ones. Sure.
Yeah, this is tricky. MC Pyro, I'll tell you why I said thanks for the concern. I mean, if they have Metamorph, they have Metamorph. Like, what can we do? I mean, Glorbringer would be great to exert and kill this, but that's not how that works. So we're just going to attack with Phoenix. This is also an elemental, comically enough, so... don't have it. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Literally exact. Yep, fucking cool. Yeah, nice. Congratulations. Of course, the next card is a Mizium Warriors, and we whiffed twice on Gonti. Can't, can't play a Gonti without hitting eight lands. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. First game was great when we got to draw uh, cards that allowed us to interact with our opponent. Sure. This hand is absolutely not great, but what are you going to do? Two more islands. Promising. Yes, another island. Oh, another blue red deck. How nice. This is very strange. I don't know what we're up against, so I'm just going to slam one uh, Thunder on Hellkite and see if this does anything. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to Cryptic Command counter this, bounce this, but... No? Alright, well, but I'm now I'm assuming Condemn or Settle the Wreckage, so... No, not Settle the Wreckage, uh... Because they don't have double white. Or they just take eight? Wow. Okay, it's not what I was expecting, but... Yeah, 
Is it charm? Digging for some stuff. Discarded second white and second red, along with Force of Negation. Six mana. Teferi? It's probably Teferi. Although I don't know what that does here. Are they, is it Teferi and they're like figuring out what they're going to do once they cast Teferi? Is a Bane Fire for four? Hmm. Well. Old strategy, Cotton. Okay. <sighs> that was a that was a thing right there. We literally didn't see any targets for this again. I mean char goes to the face, I guess, so that's what we're going for. Could just play Rakdos's return as well. Let's try Rakdos's return instead of Char. Hands rough. Mm, it's a little better. Get rid of Zealous Conscripts. We do have a Pyromancer if we hit a second red. is a second red, but knowing them, they'll probably really work hard to keep us off it, I guess. <laughs> condescend for one. Everybody's got the condescend for one, guys. Sure. Why not? <sighs> Why wouldn't you just counter what I play with this or with the with the signet? That's so weird, dude. Sure. It did everything I wanted it to do. Oh, a barrel. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. This guy dead too? Everybody's dead? Lightning Helix? Sure. <sighs> sure. Land. Another four drop, huh? What is it? So four, 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 double red. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. I 
No, of course. Uh, of course. I mean, I don't know what Dragon Skull Summon off the top would do here. Still can't cast anything. Oh, that's exhausting. <laughs> sure. Pretty magical, guys. Four lands and 12 cards. Cool. Yep, just gonna go to the next game. Not really gonna deal with that bullshit. That seems better than mortars. All right, let's try this signet nonsense again, huh? I thought they were gonna force a force of negation it. I was like, oh god. Remember the four drops we had? Where'd those go? Make sure to season your pyromancers, guys. I'll condescend for three. Oh, you're just gonna dissolve you're just gonna dissolve it. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. That's not exciting.
So I got Torrential Gear Hulk into Dissolve. It's about the fifth time I've been condescended in these two rounds. Might as well attack with this, I guess. Fascinating. Terminus just for that guy, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One mana shy of doing a lot of things. There's seven mana.
how the effort they put into this is, is it signet. That'll do. Smokey Lucky, have a good night, buddy. Uh, what time is it? It is 3.47. Uh, AM. It's harder to find an opponent at this hour. Like any white seems or any like any red, I guess. Seems fine.
There was a power closet when you need it. I mean, we could theoretically wait until they try to pump this, but I doubt they will if we have three mana up, so. Feels like a better opportunity to just get rid of it now. Also, if they don't pump it, they keep three mana up. We just never get a chance to do it because they'll pump it in response. Mm, they have one card. Seems fine, I guess. No cards in hand. Three Gontis, 11 lands, one spell. <sighs> oh, that was definitely a drunk mess up from the opponent there. <laughs> Lava Coil. <sighs> Seems good. Land. Okay.
Thunderbolt number five. One top deck Thunder Maw Hellkite, and we're dead. Or if I have do we gain two life somehow? Oops, that's an instant. Okay, I'll do. I'm gonna submit this and run to the bathroom real quick. Ooh, it seems better than like Sigmund here, I guess. All right. Disfigure, perhaps? That's real good. <laughs> I only play red. Like a lot. Well, it's definitely why we brought that thing in. I'd rather play this than Kalidus. Uh, I think the lifelink on Kalidus is pretty relevant, so if he has to survive, I'd rather, rather just get this off the board rather than have them kill Kalidus and attack into us. Seems worse. Seems good. So they're probably going to kill Kalidus, but then we have Kolagon's Command Murderous Ray. I guess we could just play Red Cap here. Oh, I guess if they sack this, they get a 2-2, which is pretty sweet. Then we can just get it back. Yep, that's okay.
Well, that's the gun. That's going to be the end. I'll take my penance. <sighs> All right, two one, not terrible, not terrible. As as far as the trophy count, we have not increased our trophy count since the first two undefeateds. Thank you guys for watching this. Let us like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankofor, patreon.com slash frankofor, coolstuffink, and manatraders.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.